just arrived in Sydney, going out to see the Convict Trail up in uh, Roxdale. Um, just going to get the bus towards the uh, Botany Bay, where it's just about most of the uh, the quarantine centres and the heritage sites are sort of located. So yeah, nobody seems to know anything about all of that, possibly because it's pretty sensitive here. Um, either way, I'm going to try and do my little exploration, exploring off the sides of Australia. Just in the um, Queen Victoria Gold Con Vel wish. Um, make some wish and throw some money in. It's a money making machine. Well, there we go. Good luck to you, dear. Good luck to you, dear givers. That's Queen Victoria sitting just there. Sydney Film Festival is on at the moment. And uh, there's the, uh, the old traditional Victorian buildings. There's a Hong Kong building just over there. The flag is flying high. It's a massive Chinese Queen Victoria here. building. This is more like the Harrods of London. They've got uh, little boutique stores inside there. And uh, yeah, it's sort of uh, built to a similar architecture to that of the Harrods building in Knightsbridge in central London. Queen Victoria building to commemorate Queen's reign over Australia. There you go. There's the proof. There we have it. Town Hay Street here. It's all the cinemas and districts of cinema. Irish bar, English bars, Scottish bars, Australian bars. Drink, drink, drink until you drop. Okay, just walking down George Street, quite a popular street down here. And Mountbatten Hotel, there's uh, Captain Mountbatten. A lot of these buildings and roads are named after a lot of the US, no, uh, British, uh, I should say British. Uh, yeah, have it. Sydney Central Youth Hostel Association, Backpackers Accommodation. Whoa, you got straight in the middle of Chinatown. And uh, all of these buildings accommodate all of the European backpackers and the ones who have stopped over in Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos, Singapore, and then come over to Australia, the first port of call for most of the European backpackers. And then they go off to do other bits and pieces of travel. That's the central railway station just on to the far side. There's a clock tower off that building. Here we are, a beautiful building for all the youths of the world who come to see here I am. Australia at the uh, Sydney Central Railway Station where the trains going south to Melbourne would set off from here. And most of the outback trains will start going from this point here. Beautiful. The uh, central station here at Sydney. There we go. Wonderful place. The old, quite similar to St. Pancras, I should say. Or Euston. St. Pancras. King's Cross style building. There's a train that's going towards Brisbane. Okay, yeah. where do you think we are? Just in New South Wales in Australia. Apart from the clock tower, the rest of the building is pretty much 
pretty much looks like St Pancras, not the same stone facade, but slightly different. Yet it's got all of the uh, the hallmarks of the uh, British style building. Okay, here we have the market city. The music is played in Chinese. The signage is in Chinese. As a Chinatown within four seas, all men are brothers, according to the Chinese. Fantastic. Like in Beijing. Am I in Beijing? Or am I in Sydney? No, I'm in Sydney. There's a tram car. Tram car going past the market street. It is a massive building. I presume it's owned possibly by Chinese as well. Well done Chinese, keep going. Keep that economies around the world. Town. Wow, look at the old boy. There you go. Chinatown restaurant.